my second grade. Hopefully you get a chance to listen to the story about the artist Pablo Picasso. Today the project that we will be working on, we're going to be making a mask. Pablo Picasso was really greatly influenced by African masks and he made a lot of masks as well. So I will put some of those pictures up on your Google Classroom. Today for your project you're going to need some cardboard, just regular boxes. I've cut mine into bigger and smaller pieces. I'll show you how we're going to use them later. You will need something to colour with. I'm going to use crepa for my smaller pieces or you could use a marker and paint for the background. Or if you want, you can paint all of the pieces. It will be your choice. Okay, so we are going to be making our Picasso mask today. You're going to be needing some cardboard scissors, glue to glue things on, and something to colour with. I'm going to be using crepa for the small parts and I'm using paint for the background. Okay, so the first thing you will need to do is make your actual face shape. So I'm using a bigger piece of cardboard and if you want, you can draw something like a face shape on it. Remember, it doesn't have to be exactly face shape because this is Picasso, right? It can be any shape. So you would make your shape and cut it out. I have my shape for my face here. Now I need to add the other features of the face. So I'm gonna definitely need two eyes. My eyes do not need to be exactly the same. So again, you can Start with your cardboard and if you like, you can draw an eye shape and cut it out. I made one eye shape, a sort of oval, and I made one more like an eye shape. Same thing for your nose. You're gonna draw something like a nose shape and cut it out. I have my nose. I need also a mouth. So again, you are going to draw something like a mouth and then you will be cutting it out. I need to cut this one out, so I'm using my big sharp scissors because the cardboard is a little tricky to cut. If you like, you can keep the drawn part on. For these ones I didn't, but you can if you like. The other things I need to add, I need two ears, kind of ear shapes I have there, and then something to be hair, which we're going to talk about in a second when I join it on. So, I've got my face and I've got all my features. I am just going to be colouring with crepe. So I coloured them nice and bright and then I'm going to be just laying them on the face how I want it to, to look. Remember when you're making Picasso, you do not need to make things realistic. So you can have red eyeballs, you can have purple mouths, yellow ears, it can be any colour you like. So I've got my small pieces ready. I think I do want this mouth to be nice and purple. Maybe one lip, top lip can be purple and the bottom lip can be a different color. I think I might do that. So. And you want to color a little nicer than me. I'm coloring a little fast. You want it to stand out really well. 
Once you've colored all your pieces, let's just move them over. We're gonna pretend that I colored them. You're gonna be painting your background. In fact, maybe you should paint your background first while you make your eyes and then it will dry. But anyway, paint your background. I'm using two different colors. You can use one color, you can use two, you can decide. I'm gonna paint half of the face in this nice yellow. And just a line right down the middle. I've chosen these light colors so my th things will stand out. I want it to be nice and bright. And the other side, I'm making orange. You can use any colors you like. These are acrylic paints I'm using, but you can really use whatever you have that will work on the cardboard. And if you don't have paint, you can go right ahead and color with your crepas or your crayons. Or you could even just leave it cardboard. That would also look quite nice too. As long as you're, ooh, that mixed a little bit. Not to worry, we'll just mix it in. Okay, so really we should have painted first and let that dry. We're going to pretend that we did that and we're going to come back to our example. So once your paint is dry, you just go ahead and stick on your features where you want them to be. So you have play around with them. See, so maybe you want your eye to look a different way. I have my ears that I didn't yet color. Let's pretend I've colored those. And this ear. And then for my hair, you can either just cut out pieces and make them stand up, like on the example, or you can also have them going around the head. See what kind of hairstyle you like. You can maybe even have long hair as well. So once my pieces are colored and they're stuck on and they look like this, the last thing, if you want, you can, with your Sharpie, just add some details. Maybe you want to add some eyelashes. I'm just gonna go around these eyes to make them stand out and I'm gonna add some eyelashes. I'm adding some details to make the features stand out a bit more. Maybe some little nostrils there. Maybe something on the ear. Okay, so I hope you really have fun making these Picasso masks because I did and I can't wait to see yours.